In today's lesson, we're going to talk about how to solve elastic collision momentum problems with a simple formula. So let's start with this one. So we have a four kilogram ball and this ball is moving east at a speed of five meters per second. Now it's going to strike another ball, a two kilogram ball, and that ball is initially at rest. We want to calculate the velocities of the two balls after the collision. And this is a perfectly elastic collision, which means not only momentum is conserved, but also kinetic energy is conserved. So M1 is four kilograms, M2 is two kilograms. V1 is five meters per second. V2 is zero because the second ball is at rest. We want to find the final velocities of ball one and ball two. So here's a formula that will help us to do that. Let's start with ball one. V1 prime or V1 final, it's gonna be the difference of the two masses divided by the sum of the two masses times the initial velocity of ball one plus two times the second mass divided by the sum of the masses times the initial velocity of ball two. So M1 is four, M2 is two. V1, we know that's five. And then plus two times M2 divided by the sum of the two masses. Now the second ball is at rest, so V2 is zero, which means this entire term is zero. So here we're going to have 4 minus 2, which is 2, times 5 over 4 plus 2, which is 6. So it's 10 divided by 6. And that will give us a speed of 1.67 meters per second. Now, I have this same exact problem in another video that I've created earlier. And in that video, you'll see another way in which you can get the same answer. It's the same exact problem. The only difference is it's a longer way. It's a process. Whereas in this problem, you could just simply use the formula to get the right answer. By the way, for those of you who want a printout of this formula and other momentum formulas, feel free to check out the formula sheet in the description section below. It has a lot of other formulas in addition to this one that you're going to find helpful. So now let's calculate the second velocity. Here's the formula. V2 prime is going to be 2 times M1 over M1 plus M2 times V1 minus M1 minus M2 over the sum of the two masses. And then all of that is going to be times V2. So V2 prime, the final velocity of ball two is going to be two times M1. M1 is four over M1 plus M2. So that's four plus two times V1. V1 is five minus M1 minus M2. That's four minus two. And then this is going to be over four plus two, but V2 is still zero. So that's going to make the computation a lot easier. So now we have two times four, which is eight. And on the bottom, 4 plus 2 is 6. 8 times 5 is 40. 40 over 6 will give us an answer of 6.67 meters per second. Now, I'm going to post the link in the description section of the other video, an older, my older video, that has these same problems where you could see that the answers are the same, just using a different process. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance. Now, let's work on number two. So we have an eight kilogram ball traveling east at six meters per second, and it strikes another six kilogram ball moving west at five meters per second. So let's draw a picture. So here's the first ball. It's moving east at six meters per second. And then we have another ball 
that's moving west at 5 meters per second. So this is a head-on collision. So ball 1 has a mass of 8 kilograms and ball 2 has a mass of 6 kilograms. So that's M1, this is M2. And we got V1 initial and V2 initial. So let's calculate the velocity of each ball after the elastic collision. So let's start with V1 prime. Let's write the formula first. So it's the difference of the two masses divided by the sum of the two masses times V1 plus 2 times the second mass divided by the sum of the two masses times V2. So M1 is 8, M2 is 6, and then we're going to divide that by the sum. V1 is 6, M2 is 6, the sum is going to be the same, and V2, V2 is negative 5, not positive 5, because V is velocity, and we need to incorporate direction. Because it's moving west, we need to plug in negative 5. So 8 minus 6 is 2. 8 plus 6 is 14. 2 times 6 is 12. And that's over 14 as well. Now, 2 times 6 is also 12. And then we have 12 times negative 5, which is negative 60. So this is going to be 12 minus 60 is negative 48. Negative 48 divided by 14. That will give us this answer, which is negative 3.43 meters per second. So that is the final velocity of the first ball. Now, let's do the same thing for the second one. So it's 2m1 over m1 plus m2 times v1 minus m1 minus m2 over m1 plus m2 times v2. So m1 is 8. This is going to be over 8 plus 6. v1 is 6. Here we're going to have 8 minus 6 over 8 plus 6. And V2, just like before, is negative 5. So 2 times 8 is 16. 8 plus 6 is 14. 8 minus 6 is 2. And then we have a negative 5 next to it. And then the denominator is going to be the same. Now 16 times 6, that's going to be 96. Negative 2 times negative 5 is positive 10. So we get 106 over 14. Turning that to a decimal, 106 over 14 is positive 7.57 meters per second. So let's think about what this means. V1 is now negative. So it was going to the right. But now that it's negative, that means that it's moving to the left. V2 is positive. It was negative before going to the left. But now that it's positive, it's going to the right. So these two balls, which had a head-on collision, they now they bounce back off of each other, going in the opposite direction. So that's basically it for this video. So now you know how to solve these difficult problems using very simplified formulas that will help you get to the answer a lot quicker. If you've seen my older videos, you know solving these problems could take a lot of time. But with these formulas, it'll save you a lot of time if you want to get the answer quickly. But if you need to show your work, you could still use the old method as well. So that's it for this video. Thanks again for watching. And don't forget to print out that formula sheet because I think it's really going to help you for your uh, tests on momentum. I do have a practice test that has like 47 questions. I'm going to put the link uh, to that practice test in the description as well. So feel free to take a look at that when you get a chance.